Welcome to Fashion Television. I'm Andrew McMinimi, and I'll be bringing you the latest fashion trends and entertainment news from around the globe. First, we take a look at 2014 and review the year's most futuristic fashions. After that, we visit the recently opened H. Nauto shop. Then, we'll check out Johnny Depp's latest movie event. After that, we're gonna head on over to Mark Ronson and Bruno Mars as they take the charts. And then we finish it all off with Dior Defile in Tokyo. First, let's look back on the best 2014 avant-garde and futuristic designer creations. Fashion looks forward and always hopes to be one step ahead. The clothes take on a new lease of life through the innovative materials and the surprising creations. Jean-Paul Gaultier explained, I've seen the movie Gravity, and I just thought this movie was so great that I've decided to do something about space, and the idea of weightlessness must appear on the fabrics, but also on the shoes. On his side, Philip Plan declared, we have something very special. We have a projection on 20 white dresses, and we're going to project on the dresses, the patterns and designs, and it's a movement. It's a dress which is changing constantly the color. Through their miss and sin, one thing is for certain, the designers are projecting us to think about the future and what's ahead of us. Welcome 2015. The famous Japanese designer, Naoto Hiroka, better known as H. Naoto, held the grand opening of his newest shop, the h &E Gallery in Japan. His stink punk and gothic style is finally joining the ranks of other international fashions that have left their mark on Tokyo's culture scene. Defined as an indulgence in turn-of-the-century Victorian era, clockwork engines and grimy dark palette, it's easy to see why the style is fitting for those rebelling against the daily technological addiction. From the time you enter the shop, your eyes are filled with fabulous designs, collections, and even special edition dolls styled by H. Naoto and Sixth. Located deep behind the busy main streets of Omotesando and Harajuku, the new open shop is fitting perfectly with its secret hideout theme. Both the location and interior decoration create a mysterious and enjoyable experience. Despite an age gap of 23 years, Depp and Amber Heard have been engaged since January of last year. Amber recently put the brakes on, and the reason was Johnny's speech at the last Hollywood Film Award, where he was apparently drunk, making the audience confused. Amber has apparently forgiven this unfortunate event, and the couple was seen celebrating New Year's Eve together. With his love life back on track, Depp launched his new movie, Mordecai. The storyline is based on the book Mordecai Trilogy, written by Kyrell von Figioli, and seems totally fit for Depp's electric temper. Playing the role of a debonair art dealer named Charlie Mordecai, Depp chases treasures and Nazi gold in non-stop eccentric adventures. Flanked by Gwyneth Paltrow and Ewan McGregor, Depp shows one more time his talent at playing a role of a crazy, unforgettable character. Everything is set to make Charlie Mordecai an icon like Jack Sparrow or Willy Wonka. Music producer Mark Ronson is back! After a long break on Amy Winehouse angst, Ronson deals with the success of Uptown Special. The producer and DJ helped launch Amy Winehouse to superstardom with his retro soul sound. Now, after a period of self-doubt that led him to a collapse, he is back. The track featuring Bruno Mars sold 156,000 copies and was streamed nearly 2.56 million times, setting a new official chart record by beating its own previous record of 2.49 million audio streams the week before. That's what I've done, he says a little heavily. I've made something so good that people don't actually think it's me. The Sprit Dior showed in Tokyo. The French fashion house presented a collection heavily inspired by the city, at the same time with a futuristic side and full of traditions. On the fashion side of things, Raph Simmons, the creative director, proposed practical glamour and played with contrast with the materials and colors. The sequins and multiple embroideries are mixed with the mesh, patent leather, and with knitwear. The bar jacket, the base of this wardrobe, is revisited with an urban twist. More graphic, more angular, it almost takes on the aesthetics of manga. The Lady Dior bag is also reworked into an XXL version or in a mini version with a strap. With a contemporary exhibition of L'Esprit Dior and the new boutique in a Motesando, 
The Dior fashion house is heavily invested in the Japanese capital. This has been Fashion Television. I'm Andrew McMinimi. See you next time.